The THAAD is a key element of the United States ballistic missile defense system. And the system made by Lockheed Martin Corporation has been available for military use since 2008. Nearly all sources agree it's designed to detect, track and shoot down short-range, medium-range, and intermediate-range ballistic missiles, not ICBM. The THAAD interceptor missile has a single-stage solid-fuel rocket booster that can reach a peak speed of about 2.6 kilometers per second, about eight times the speed of sound. Here's how THAAD, formerly the Terminal High Altitude Area Defense, works as laid out by Lockheed Martin. Radar detects incoming threat. Target is identified and engaged. Interceptor is fired from truck-mounted launcher. Interceptor uses kinetic energy to destroy incoming missile. THAAD has a unique capability to destroy threats in both the endo and exo atmosphere. THAAD is effective against all types of ballistic missile warheads, especially including weapons of mass destruction payloads. THAAD was specifically designed to counter mass raids with its high firepower, up to 72 interceptors per battery. Capable organic radar and powerful battle manager fire control capability. THAAD is interoperable with other ballistic missile defense system elements, working in concert with Patriot Pac-3 missile, Aegis Ballistic Missile Defense, Forward Base Sensors, and C2 BMC Command and Control, Battle Management, and Communication System to maximize integrated air and missile defense capabilities. THAAD is mobile and rapidly deployable, which provides warfighters with greater flexibility to adapt to changing threat situations around the globe. There's tremendous concern over Russian and Chinese ballistic missile systems. How does THAAD stack up against such potential systems? The global proliferation of threat ballistic missile systems, coupled with significant advances in precision, lethality, and exploitation of unprotected battle space, requires a multi-tier layered defense. To effectively defend troops, citizens, infrastructure, and critical assets from these growing threats, THAAD's unique endo and exo capability adds essential layers of defense because it can operate in both regimes. THAAD complements existing ballistic missile defenses by closing the battle space gap between Endo-only Patriot Pac-3 and Exo-only Aegis Ballistic Missile Defense. THAAD is interoperable with all ballistic missile defense system elements and provides an exceptional capability to defend against mass raids, a challenge for many ballistic missile defense systems. History in the late 1980s, the U.S. Army had a requirement for a system to shield ground troops from the threat of ballistic missiles. The Soviet Union integrated ballistic missiles into its force structure down to the division level, with a battalion of SS-21 Scarab short-range missile launchers integrated into every motor, rifle, and tank division stationed in Eastern Europe. The SS-21 had a range of 75 miles. Further up the chain, the Soviets fielded the SS-23 Spider, the replacement for the venerable Scud missile with a range of 310 miles. Finally, the SS-20 Sabre intermediate range missile can be expected to strike tactical targets throughout Europe at ranges of up to 3,200 miles. The Army's new medium-range air defense missile, the Patriot, was not designed to shoot down incoming missile warheads, a very different task from the Patriot's mission of downing low-altitude strike aircraft. The decision was made to develop a separate system and in 1987, the system that would become THAAD was born. Originally a United States Army program, THAAD has come under the umbrella of the Missile Defense Agency. The Navy has a similar program, the sea-based Aegis Ballistic Missile Defense System, which also has a land component, Aegis Ashore. THAAD was originally scheduled for deployment in 2012, but initial deployment took place in May 2008. THAAD Components THAAD consists of five major components, the launcher, interceptor, radar, THAAD fire control and communications units, and unique support equipment. The THAAD launcher is based on a four-axle heavy expanded mobility tactical truck. 
Each launcher carries up to eight interceptors, which are housed in 6.6-meter-long, 1,044-kilogram launch canisters. The THAAD interceptor is 6.2 meters long, 0.4 meters in diameter, and weighs 662 kilograms at launch. It consists of a single-stage, solid-propellant booster and a liquid-fueled kinetic kill vehicle. The missile's booster is constructed from carbon fiber and uses a hydroxyl-terminated polybutadiene propellant. It employs a thrust vector system for control and a deployable rear flare for stability. The THAAD kill vehicle is constructed from composites and uses a gimbaled infrared seeker to track targets in the terminal phase. After approaching the target with its main booster, the THAAD kill vehicle separates and uses its hydrazine-powered divert thrusters to maneuver in its final trajectory. The THAAD system utilizes the Army Navy Transportable Radar Surveillance ANTPY2, radar to detect and track enemy missiles at ranges of 480 kilometers to 4,700 kilometers. The TPY-2 radar is deployable in two modes, a forward base mode where it detects missiles in the ascent phase to cue other ballistic missile defense system elements, and a terminal mode where it provides tracking and engagement data for terminal THAAD engagements. The THAAD fire control and communications component oversees battery operations and relays fire control information to other elements of the joint force. Each system, known as a tactical station group, incorporates a tactical operations station with two operating stations, a launch control station, which includes wireless data links, networking equipment, and fiber optic cable interfaces, and a station support group, which includes high-mobility, multi-purpose wheeled vehicle-based antenna. Operating in concert, these systems control battery launch operations and transfer fire control information from the ANTPY-2 radar to the larger Command Control Battle Management and Communication C2BMC network. By connecting with C2BMC, THAAD can exchange tracking data with Aegis, ground-based mid-course defense, and Patriot missile defense. THAAD versus ICBM a ballistic missile in its terminal descent phase offers an interceptor system only a very small window in which it can be shot down before it detonates its warhead. A THAAD interceptor flies at Mach 8, more than three times the speed of a rifle bullet, and can hit targets up to 200 kilometers high. However, this is still not fast or far enough to reliably hit ICBM, according to most experts. The farther a ballistic missile is designed to go, the higher and faster it must fly. This means that super long-range ICBMs travel at speeds of around 20 times the speed of sound and can fly up to thousands of kilometers above the Earth's surface, making them much more difficult to intercept than shorter-range ballistic missiles, even when diving back to the surface in the terminal phase. To have a good shot at an incoming missile, interceptors of comparable speed are preferred. This does not mean interception by slower missiles is strictly impossible, THAAD is claimed to have a limited capability for low-altitude ICBM interception. That's to say it can try, but the odds of success would likely not be high. Lockheed has proposed creating a THAAD ER system with an improved seeker and two-stage rocket, giving the interceptors three times the range, supposedly it could be operational in four years. While THAAD might conceivably have its ICBM intercept capabilities improved, THAAD-ER and other upgrades exist only as design concepts for now. <laughs>